Hi there, I'm Dawn from Creative Cane Cabin, and today I'm going to show you how I prep and paint a metal deck chair. First off, you need a wire brush, and you're going to remove any rust that's already present. I pretty much prepped this chair before I started, so you just want don't want anything that's still lifting and flaking where the paint was. So give it a good scrubbing with your wire brush. And I think that pretty much has it on this one. Then next what you need to do is use a microfiber cloth and dust off any areas where you are removing the rust so the paint can adhere. And you do need to use a paint that has a rust stopping agent in it or it's going to continue. This chair is hunter green. I'm not fond of the color. I'm going to go with basic black because it goes with everything. I also like a trigger because my finger goes numb if I am painting for any length of time. This isn't a must. You don't have to have this. It just helps. And if you paint a lot with spray cans, pick it up. It's just a three dollar object. I also have it up on uh, four pots just so I can get at the legs better. It's nothing you absolutely have to do. And if you're painting on concrete or um, a finish that you don't want paint to splatter on, make sure you put a drop cloth or cardboard or something underneath it. So let's get started. Make sure when you paint, you've shaken your can well. And you also want to paint in strokes from side to side. Just don't spray willy-nilly all over. You're going to waste a lot of paint. And as you're painting, release the trigger. If you're going past a point where there's anything to spray, release the trigger so you're not wasting what you have. This will really be a fast way to transform a piece. A lot of times you can pick these up at uh, garage sales or a flea market for next to nothing because people can't see the potential in uh, what a can of spray paint can do. These actually were my mom's. She left them on the deck of our guest house when she moved south full time. So I decided to use them on our back deck. So free furniture for me. I know you can't see the big difference in uh, the paint color because we're going from dark green to black. But it really looks nice and shiny and fresh and new. And that's what I was going for. And for a $3 can of spray paint, you couldn't purchase a metal piece of furniture for $3 anywhere. And I do believe, I have four of these chairs, and I do believe uh, at most I'll need two cans of spray paint. Alright, I do believe I have the front done, so I'm going to switch to the back. So you can see how easy it really is 
and it's also not time consuming. I'm gonna stop there, because you obviously have the idea. And I will be back to show you the final product with a cushion. Thanks for stopping by. And here's the final project.